you are listening to Radio Romania International. Focus on Romania. Traveler's Guide. Welcome to Traveler's Guide. I'm Vlad Palku with Ana Maria Popescu. Today we are heading to northern Romania to the county of Bistrița Nasaud. We start in Bistrița, a city built in medieval German style and a historic locality first documented in 1264. And then we will be heading to the mountain area. Among the landmarks we review will be the great Kolibica Dam Lake, also known as the Sea in the Mountains, and Tihuza Pass, linking Transylvania and Bukovina. The guide today is Claudia Andron, president of the Tourist in Bistrița Nasaud Association for the promotion of tourism. In primul rând, ca să guști România, trebuie să îi vezi frumusețea în toată splendoarea, trebuie să vii toamna. First of all, in order to take in the beauty of Romania, you must come here in autumn. I recommend an autumn vacation in Bistrița Nasaud. It is harvest time and the environment changes into something beautiful. We have mountains and a sea in the mountains, a huge lake, Kolibica. Coming here in autumn is a must in order to witness the beauty of this area. Claudia Andron recommends we start our trip in the city of Bistrița. Here you can visit Casa Argintarului, Silversmith House, a Renaissance architectural monument and a tower of Coopers, built in the old citadel of Bistrița between the 15th and the 16th centuries. You can also visit old monuments such as the Evangelical Church, the Synagogue in Bistrița, the Bistrița Nasaud County Museum, the Palace of Culture or the Johannes Laviseda Memorial House, the oldest building standing in Bistrița. Claudia Andron. Vă recomand să urcați în turnul bisericii evanghelice, care este cel mai înalt turn din Transilvania pentru I recommend you climb the tower of the Evangelical Church, the tallest in Transylvania. The Saxons in Bistrița were quite crafty. Over 100 years ago, they tricked the people coming from Sibiu, who had come during the night to measure the height of the tower. They used a long piece of string to measure the height. But before they left, the Saxons here cut two yards out of the string. When they went to Sibiu, the tower there came up smaller in height. You have to climb the tower in order to enjoy the beauty of the city and the beauty of a former small Saxon town, few of which have been so well preserved. After that, I recommend you go to one of the restaurants in the pedestrian area and in the Evangelican church area to taste the autumn properly. Everyone is prepared ring their pickles at this time and if you get there on a Saturday you should go to the local farmer market called Made in Bistrița Nasaud. There you will find all kinds of traditional products made by the local peasants. It is a not to be missed experience. On Saturday between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. the area around the Evangelican Church is the venue for this traditional fair. Two autumn events have just wrapped up in Bistrița, the Autumn Festival and Oktoberfest. In the year of the centennial, however, the city's agenda is full, with lots of cultural events dedicated to music, poetry and theatre. There is no lack of such events in the rural area either, with mostly crafts fairs. Claudia Andron suggests we head to the mountainous area of the county. She recommends the first stop. Colibica, da, acolo unde este Marea de la Munte și unde natura oferă un spectacol cum nu o să vedeți uh, în altă parte. In Colibica, where the lake is, you can admire some of the most beautiful landscapes we have. The forest is changing colors these days and seems more beautiful than ever. I highly recommend the Rodna Mountains. You have to take a trip here. The view is breathtaking. Tourists should also visit the Hutza Pass, where we have increased lodging capacity recently. We have very good accommodation venues. In the last three years, the area has developed a great deal. You should also go visit the monastery there, which has a great story. It is built in antithesis to the castle of Count Dracula, erected in 1976. The monastery's role is to fend away evil spirits from the castle. You should listen to some of the stories the locals tell about this place. 
Tijuza Pass lies at an altitude of 1,200 meters between Transylvania and Moldavia. The scenery is extraordinary, especially for the people who are fascinated by the myth of Dracula, who come here to follow the sojourn made by Jonathan Harker in Bram Stoker's novel, which took him to these parts in the book. Here you can find a mansion bearing the name of the Count, with Bram Stoker's statue in front of it. It was placed there 12 years ago in a ceremony attended by the Irish ambassador at the time. Claudia Andron, president of the Tourist in Bistizana Saud Association for the promotion of tourism, told us that in the last four years the number of tourists coming to the area has increased a great deal. This is a new tourist destination. We have only recently started recognizing the tourist potential of the area. And the Tourist in Bistritzana Saud Association worked a lot to take advantage of that. First and foremost, we wanted to raise awareness among the locals regarding the tourism potential we have. This can be seen reflected in the large number of tourists who have started arriving. We have an average of three nights accommodation per tourist now. At the tourism fairs we have taken part in, we saw that tourists seek destinations that offer them the local experience. They want to experience what the locals experience in terms of food or scenery. If you like natural sites, you can find them right here. If you like traditions and the archaic, you can easily reach here villages where you can find ancient traditions. Some women in the area still sew by hand traditional garb. You are eagerly awaited in Bistitsana Saud, and we invite you to tune in next time for more holiday destinations in Traveler's Guide.